Lady Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivien, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? He insulted my honor. I want him dead. And this, Marquis, is why one must always be courteous to one's fellow guests. Someone be a dear and clean this mess up. We can't have him cluttering up the dance floor. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivienne. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. believes these notes could assist you.
see something, let me know. Another time, then. She who trusts in the Maker, fire is her water. As the moth sees light and goes toward flame, she should see fire and go towards light. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the major uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. The Conclave destroyed a giant hole in the sky. Things aren't looking good. Which is why we're needed. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new Divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> ah, there's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? I was born in Ostwick, and that's where most of my family is. The Trevelyans, is it not? A large clan with a rather clever coat of arms. Tell me, do you consider the Free March as your home? Are you eager to go back? Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now, after years of tending to business for the Divine. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. <laughs> Is that right? As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentagas, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. 
And you joined the Seekers to get away from them? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that...